In English today, we are going to start our lesson, Unit 8, Wonderful Water. What is the name of our unit, boys? Wonderful Water. And our lesson is, why is water important? Why is water important? Number one, read and listen, then join. Rainy day, rainy day. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree. Rain on the houses, but not on me. Again, I'm going to read, read with me boys. Rain on rainy day. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree. Rain on the houses, but not on me. It is a rainy day. The teachers and the girls are looking out of the window, listen and point out to what they talk about, what they are talking about. Actually, in this lesson, we in this unit, we are going to study the importance of water. Why is imp water important for living things? Without water, we cannot live. Without water, we cannot live. It is very hard to live without a uh, water. Plants, animals, humans, Every living things, they need water. In the poem above, they are talking about rain. Rain, what is rain? When water comes from the cloud, it is called rain. And rainy day means the day which we have rain. Rain on the green grass. This is called a grass. Rain on the tree. Rain on the tree. Rain on the houses, but not on me. Why not on me? Because the boy is wearing a raincoat. What is boy wearing? This yellow. This is called a raincoat. What it is called, boys? It is called rain coat today is monday it is windy and rainy today is monday it is windy and rainy so we can write sentences according to it like we can write today is sunday it is sunny and windy sunny and windy because there is wind and also there is a sun so today's weather is sunny and windy. We are going to discuss the weathers in detail in the coming classes. For now on, just we are going to focus on our poem that is called Rainy Day. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree, rain on the houses, but not on me. Understood? Now what we are going to do, we are going to join the sentence with the picture. What we are going to do, boys, we are going to join the sentences with the pictures. First of all, take out your pencils and be ready. Here. First one is Rain on the green grass. Rain on the green grass. This is called grass. So match it, boys. Number two. Rain on the trees. Rain on the trees. If you like, you can change the color. Or if you want as it is, it's up to you. Rain on the trees. These are trees. Rain on the houses, but not on me. Rain on the 
houses. These are houses in the behind buildings, but not on me. Okay, the poem, poem is super easy. The title of the poem is Rainy Day, Rain on the Green Grass, Rain on the Tree, Rain on the Houses, but not on me. Then we can write a short sentences like today is Sunday, it is windy and rainy, it is sunny and windy or it is you can write cloudy and rainy they are different types of weather so for now open your notebooks and write with me sunny what are these five boys they are weathers sunny cloudy windy rainy snowy sunny first of all what is sunny teacher me finish what is sunny when sun comes out in the sky it when if the weather is hot we say it is sunny cloudy when the sky is covered with white thingy called clouds we say it is cloudy and the weather is moderate means not hot not very cold it is good weather when we have cloudy weather it means the weather is good number two windy when air is blowing when wind is blowing it is called windy hawa لما يكون مرة حواء نقولون هايش windy rainy when water comes from the clouds when water drops from the sky it is called rainy weather last word is snowy snowy means when snow falls from the sky like you can say when tulge when tulge is coming down snowy when like an ice comes down snow comes down it is called snowy so the weather in snowy is very cold in sunny it is hot cloudy it is good windy sometimes it is good sometimes it is not good like rainy if it is raining is not too much we can bear but when it is raining heavily it is not good so these are five weathers so now we are going to write sentences you will take a new line and you will write on it So I'm writing, today is Sunday, today is Sunday and weather, today is Sunday and, okay, we will not write weather or just we'll say it, today is Sunday and Today is Sunday, it is windy and sunny. Today is Sunday, it is windy and sunny. As you can see here, it is windy and rainy. So we can 
make different sentences using the weathers. Today is Sunday. It is windy and sun, sunny. Number two. Tomorrow is okay. Just to believe it, just try. Today is Sunday. It is windy and sunny. Studied. We have studied the five brothers, and we have studied a poem. Rain on rainy day. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree, rain on the houses, but not on me. Then we have made a sentence that today is Sunday. It is windy and sunny. The weather is, there is too much wind and there is sun also. Because today now I was coming from outside. I was not in the home. I went somewhere, so there was sun and sun and even there was wind outside.